a short scripture reading now, which is really telling us how Christians should live. And it is our prayer today that this vision will always animate and inspire all who visit and use this art quorum. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Let love be without any pretense. Avoid what is evil, stick to what is good. In brotherly love, let your feelings of deep affection for one another come to expression and regard others as more important than yourself. In the service of the Lord, work not half-heartedly, but with conscientiousness and an eager spirit. Be praying regularly. Be joyful in hope. Persevere in hardship. Keep praying regularly. Share with any of God's holy people who are in need. Look for opportunities to be hospitable. The word of God. God our Father, today, in your name, we bless our Quorum Daycare Centre. May it reach out to all, so that we will always experience your welcome and love in the people who enter it. God hear us. We bless this centre with water. Water has always been seen as a symbol of refreshment, of growth, of new beginnings, and of your ever-present action amongst us. May we always experience that presence. May we live as children of the light, keeping the flame of faith alive in our hearts. <coughs> Lord, hear us. Each person involved in our quorum always work in an atmosphere of love, acceptance, understanding, and respect. Lord, hear us. We, pr we pray for all people, the people who will use this centre. We think especially of the elderly and those who live alone. Lord, hear us. Pour out your peace and love to the many generous women and men who have been so generous in their funding of this centre. We take a moment to think and pray for them. Lord, hear us. This is me all there. Remember the many generous people who have been involved in the building, the building of this centre. Our prayers and thoughts are very much today with the late Isabel, Isabel McDonough, who was very much part of this and behind the vision behind it. And she's no longer with us in life, but she's with us here today and united with us. Say a prayer silently for Isabel and her family. May she rest in peace. Amen. Lord, hear us. Amen. So bow your heads now as I pray God's blessing over you. May the Father's love come to live and stay with you here in the centre. Amen. Amen. May the Son of God stay with you and give you his peace. Amen. Amen. May the Spirit of God teach us all things and stay with you forever. Amen. And so may the blessing of Almighty God come down upon this centre and may his spirit always be here with us. May he protect us and care for us and be with all of you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace and live like Jesus. Thanks be to God. Thank you too. Thank, thank you very much, Karen, for that very touching blessing. Now, our committee here at a quorum are together for a good number of years, and we have stayed the course, and we have stayed the course under a man, the guidance of a man of great diplomacy, patience, and discretion. Can I call on our chairman, Mr. Tom Peters, to address you? And Don't exaggerate, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's great to see John and Mike here and they're alert. So I think it's supposed to be good to start with these committees because they're both very alert people. <laughs> well, I've been given a job of talking about, a long job of talking about the wonderful committee and the staff. So it'll take me a few minutes and I apologise for that. Now, on a very able committee, there's still a first among equals, to use our well in language, and that's Finbar himself because he's always there. He's been there from the start since nearly 10 years. And on the big occasions like the Ring of Kelly, he gives mighty leadership. Uh, in his duties as uh, treasurer, he's been helped wonderfully by Ethne Galvin, and in the past, until Kelly has taken over now, and looking forward to working with her. <coughs> Our secretary is Mike Mariotti, and you'll hear from him very shortly. 
Now Mike is a man of many parts. He's a thespian, he's a musician, and he's a very efficient secretary. He, he keeps tabs on everyone and on everything that's happening. He definitely keeps tabs on me. Uh, he said, thank you for your attention. Thank you, Tom. Our next speaker needs no introduction. He has served North Kerry very well indeed over the last 30 years. And I can say this, without his influence and his input, this building may not be standing here today. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Jimmy Dean and Minister for, for the Diaspora. Thank you, Father uh, Dutton, um, Jimmy Maloney, Mikey Ginelli, ladies and gentlemen, I'm delighted to be here with you. Uh, this is a very special day for all of us here in the stall. It's another really great achievement for the town and um, I would like just to compliment the committee for doing such an excellent job. Um, Tom Pierce and his committee, I must say, have achieved something very, very special here for us and for the people of North Kerry. And you should be very proud of your achievement here today because, but for you, um, this great development here, this great centre, it would not be just here. And um, we all achieve, I suppose, something in life, but this is something that you can really feel as being uh, one of your great achievements. Um, as someone who has worked in committees, I suppose, most of my life, uh, it's not easy uh, getting a facility like this off the ground and completing it. It may have taken up to 10 years, but without your perseverance and endurance and patience and also your capacity to collect the required funding we just wouldn't be here today so I'd like to just recognize that today and Caroline Dial um, I work with Caroline on a good few projects projects like Knocking Door Centre outside uh, Betty Duff Centre and other centres uh, are as they're across the way and uh, I totally agree with you, Tom, that uh, Caroline Dyle has made a real contribution to community facilities here in North Kerry. Uh, she's very accessible, uh, be it over the weekend or late in the evening. Caroline is always available there uh, to help. With the HSC, we are, our partnership is based on mutual trust and a common purpose. And I would like to introduce you to Teresa Donovan, General Manager, HSE Kerry, who has been most supportive and most accommodating to us. Teresa Donovan. Minister, elected representatives, Reverend Father, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the HSE, it gives me great pleasure to be here today um, on this great day. Um, it's a fantastic day for the committee and I really congratulate them. Abraham Lincoln once said, things may come to those who wait, but only things left by those who hustle. And I can assure you that the North Kerry Dare Committee have hustled for this service and for the people of North Kerry. You can see here uh, before your eyes this fantastic facility. Since their formation almost 10 years ago, they've worked tirelessly to build a day centre for older people in North Kerry. Their commitment to providing the day centre service for the area, which has almost 2,000 older people, as the Minister said, one in four which live alone, and almost a third of whom have a disability. Not too long after I was appointed into the post general manager in Kerry at the end of 2014, I was cajoled to come down here to meet the committee and to see the two day service they were running from the premises they've been renting since 2009. I left here without a doubt that day of their vision for the provision of, future, of daycare services in the future for the area. And I was certainly sure that they wouldn't rest until they were satisfied that this vision had been achieved and they were meeting the needs of the older people in the area. Much, Teresa. We had a building, or we have a, a subcommittee building chairman, and I'm just going to ask him to come here to say a few words about our building. Brendan O'Sullivan. Uh, 
Um, I, I won't delay you, but since I've been meeting everybody in here, everyone has been talking about the quality of the building and the whole atmosphere in it. And that doesn't happen by chance. It's because of good design and good building. Um, originally, it, it was uh, Paddy O'Mahony's firm that unfortunately was liquidated that undertook the project and Carl O'Mahony was the architect. Now when his firm was liquidated some of the people within the firm for, formed Reeks Consultancy and Adrian Sheehan who had been the lead project manager under Paddy O'Mahony took over the project and we worked very successfully with him. Uh, Evans and Kelleher were the contractors and again we found them very good to deal with and I think it's, it's, I hope that they are very happy with what they're seeing now because we're, we certainly are happy with our dealings with them and what the, the work they have put into this centre. So thanks again to Reeves Consulting and Evans and Kelleher.